Hey friends, it's Kip Icon, and welcome back to Kip Plays Night in the Woods. It is Harfest, and I am posting this on Halloween. So everyone who's been asking me, what are you doing for Halloween? This. This is what I'm doing for Halloween. And apparently we're a spoopy witch with a, a dagger through our hat. I can't jump right now for some reason. I wonder if that's a problem with my keyboard or... No, my keyboard should be fine. And I'm not getting the option to go in here. Oh, I think this might be just a scripted pass-through. Ah, there we go. All right, I thought that said Fortnite at first, which I have not ever played, but let's go inside, shall we? Get our fortune told. Dare you to spin the wheel of destiny? Explain. None can explain the power of the wheel. Save that is an unknowable circular soothsayer. Oh snap, is it gonna say the sooth? The sooth shall be said. Okay, I'm into this. Uh, 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 uh. Wait, what button am I using? Oh no, I thought I did better than that. Oh, oh well, that's okay. I like lucky number seven, ooh. Is your arm injured? No, but we ran across a severed arm. It's a little sore lately, actually. <laughs> May, you're missing the point. I could tell. I see all. Your fortune is your future. A place you will very soon be. Forever. Okay, that checks out. Your card says much. A great circle. An orb. But flat. Your thought shall be consumed by it. And yet you shall devour it. So like... Pizza, slammer cake set, donut wolf? My fortune is I'm gonna eat pizza or donuts or something. I mean, that's good, but I expected something more mystical or something. The cards do not lie. The wheel that chooses the card is unknowable. So this is unknowable truth. You have learned much, child. I'm 20. Well, that was interesting. May the wheel ever spin in your favor. All right then. <laughs> Interesting. I was wondering if maybe that would apply to me a little bit, but I don't think so. I wonder if there are that many different fortunes that you can get at random. Whoa, this is pretty. Hold up. Colleen, how do I get into this thing? Damn it. How do I move my arm? Oh, here I go. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Welcome to Harfest Spooktacular Water Balloon Toss. You know what to do, or can figure it out pretty quick. Okay, let's go. Oh. Oh. You want me to hit you with this. Woo, you hit the spooky ghost. I'm a scary spirit, and I'm gonna haunt you for that. Oh, poor guy. I'm extremely wet and cold. Ah! Oh, I I'm dead. Again. Oh, no, you fit the evil witch! Ah, uh, which way will I go next? I see what you did there. Ouch, I'm gonna d hex you up! No, you're doing good. You're doing good. Hey, that should have counted. Ah! I feel bad for doing this. They probably don't want to do this as much as I don't want to hit them with water balloons. Oh no, is that a spooky gourd? Oh, I want to hit the spooky gourd real, real bad. Oops, I'm the pumpkin. You hit me the pumpkin. You got me the pumpkin wet. Ouch, that one hurt me, the pumpkin. Come on, mate. I'm freezing now, the pumpkin is freezing. Oh no, I'm going away now. I'm the pumpkin. Oh, you're the hardest one, you spooky, scary skeleton, huh? Rattle, rattle, I'm a skeleton. Clickety-clack, you hit my bones. Clunkety-clunk, that tickled my funny bone. Clunkety-clink, I'm all wet. Clunkety-bang, my poor butt'll b back to the grave for me. Oh. 
Oh, I can't throw anymore. <laughs> well, that sure was something. On behalf of the Possum Springs Town Council- Oh! This is the town council, so now I don't feel so bad about throwing water balloons at them. We urge you to support local business and enjoy our historic home. Possum Springs is more like... Kathleen, no! We're like Awesome Springs! <laughs> okay, we're done. Well, happy to hit the town council in the face with water balloons. Uh, we have not played the Guitar Hero segment in a while. I'm wondering if that's gonna happen sometime soon. Oh, this is like a parade. Oh my gosh, is B working? Oh, that stinks. Hey, hey. What you up to? Seriously? We're putting on this year's Harfest pageant. Oh, right, okay. Live from the old pickaxe. When's this thing supposed to start? Uh, ten minutes, I think. You think? Ugh, this is a nightmare. Why did I ever agree to do this? Chamber of Commerce owes me big for this. Jeez, I hear ya. Da-da-da, what? Okay, so here's the thing. You won't have many lines. What? I've had like three no-shows. Why? Because this whole thing is stupid and nobody cares about it. B. Please, it's a fun part. B. Yeah? I will totally save your ass. I might have this memorized from when I was a kid. Probably not. They rewrote it six times in the past two years. To be spookier. So it's like 20% actual history now. And like 80% spooks. Um. Okay, weird. It starts off normal but gets... Anyway, you got like five minutes to look at your lines. Psh, I can wing it. Are we gonna get to do this? May, please don't wing it. <laughs> okay. I feel like we might still wing it. Oh no, now this is a nightmare if we have to like actually perform in a play. No, please. I never noticed that saw until now. They really are putting on a pageant. I thought she was being sarcastic. Oh, I didn't see ye there. Be ye ghosts. Are ye here to hear the tale of how Possum Springs came to be? I love that B is smoking a cigarette even while she's performing. <laughs> Through the mists of time I see, weary fur trappers from 1793. Brother John! Yes, Brother Stephen! From this vantage point I do spy a deep hollow, and within a great dead tree. And besides, with, a uh, which, a spring. Blessed are we, Brother Stephen, for truly my throat is parched from these long and arduous travels and carrying these 300 beaver pelts. Let us make haste, O oh excellent brother. Oh, it's us. That's, uh, uh, uh. Ho, oh, travelers, spare a crust of bread for a needy woman. I love the music effects. Haggard witch, horrible to look upon. Cruel young men, ye did not even offer one of thy 300 fine beaver pelts to warm my ancient bones. Ooh, I shall curse ye, and the end this very night ye shall perish. I am fearful. Steady, Brother Stephen, I did not venture out into these hills to joust words with a hell hag. Ye hee hee hee. I was born among these trees, neath the harvest moon, and ye shall die under that moon. Brother John, I am frightened. Faith, Brother Stephen, art thou so easily shaken by the ramblings of an old crone? Come, help me carry these three hundred beaver pelts. But little did anyone know that the witch did not curse in vain. <laughs> was that it? That might have actually been it. Love that transition. Love all the geometric shapes and the colors. Oh, act two? Holy cow. Help, help. Who will help a poor traveler? It's Greg. Uh, um, uh, by the moon and the stars above us, sir. I, I beseech thee, what is thy trouble? You're in this? Yup. 
<laughs> I love Greg. Ah, witch. Yep. I swear thee, friend, that this very day, this horrifying crone did curse my brother and I to die. Zwounds! We camped by this very spring beneath the dead tree, and even now his body lieth upon the earth, lifeless as a pile of three hundred beaver pelts. Oh, it chilleth the heart! Eehehehe! <laughs> uh, uh, a curse upon rude young men! That's not, um, uh-oh, that wasn't the right line. She has cursed the spring, and now I shall die. Oh, 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 wow. I am also undone, for I have drunketh of the water. Don't leave me here, Greg. Bye. <laughs> and yet, even there, the curse's lust for blood would not be sated. Oh my gosh. Are we... I think we're gonna go into act three. Whoo! I am into this, friends. As someone who was an actor in an outdoor historical drama in Ohio for a summer. Yuck, that was awful. Gaze upon them, gaze upon these spirits. Brother, we are now ghosts. Uh, I am tormented by the accusing glare of 300 ghostly beavers. Oh my gosh. It would seem that all who die here are cursed to never leave. Doth that wish know what she hath done? I, I mean, I doubt it. Now, was this part about a witch before we decided to dress up as a witch? Or did they adapt it for us? Or what's happening? Uh, um... Oh, uh, crap. Did we not look at our lines at all? Four. Oh. Uh, uh. For each man is determined on his path, and each path leads only to his end. Okay. And yet each path may lead to places unknown. Oh, who is this? You. From the bus station. Young witch, it is I, the god of the forest. Uh, just didn't expect you to. Ain't that the way. So, which thou hast tarried too long in this world, I banish thee to wander in the night through the stranger places. Uh, uh, I, what? Young witch, let me speak some wisdom to ya. We begin and we end, at night, in the woods. What? Is that, is this significance of title here? But that is not the whole of the story. Oh? Uh, uh. <gasps> this is your line. Uh, uh. How do you know so much about me? Young witch, I know more than thee could ever know. For I am as old as these trees. Wow. Beware as you go. For there are ghosts. Ooh. Take care. Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> I love that there was no attempt there at all to costume that actor. And so we, and so was founded then this festival. Oh, I'm giving B the wrong voice. On Halloween we shall celebrate the dying of the year and the founding of Possum Springs. I, Mayor Ghost, decree it. The beaver population suffered a decline, and now our biggest exports are corn and pumpkins. We used to be the county seat. Uh, uh, uh. Now leave before I curse you all. Oh no, audience. And that's our show. Be careful as you leave here, for who knows what may lurk in the darkness. Also, be sure to pick up a flyer on your way out from the Possum Springs Chamber of Commerce. Support your spooky local businesses. I had no idea that we were going to get dinner and a show. All right. I'm down for some Possum Springs pageantry. Some historical drama of the Rust Belt. That was fun. This year I did not trick or treat, I did not hand out, ca hand out candy, I did not dress up, I played night in the woods. Jeez, the woods.
got real spooky outside, didn't it? Like real spooky, not just fake spooky. Jeez, thanks guys. I am never doing that again. So what are we doing now? Well, I'm going home. Angus is making dinner and we're gonna watch horror movies. Can I come? It's more a date thing. Oh. What are you doing, B? Chamber of Commerce folks are going to the buffet out by Hand Panther. Kinda have to go business stuff. I hate this. Uh, but you're good at it. Both of those things can be true. <laughs> can I come? Nope. Okay, well... Good night. Night. So we have to spend the night alone, huh? This is garbage. Someone's over there on their cell phone. <gasps> what the? Oh, it's someone wearing a mining helmet. Uh, what the? Oh my god. H hey, anyone? Uh, shit. Come on, come on, come on. What the heck was that? It's unexpected. Nothing like that has happened so far in this game. Thought this game was more slice of life. Where the hell did he go? Shit. I still can't jump. Ooh, that's a spooky sound. Oh no, they're looking right at us. They see that we followed them. Oh, oh, oh yeah, t t tell her. May, go home. There's a guy up there on the hill. He stole some kid. He looked like a ghost. A ghost, huh? Or, or something like that? May, you shouldn't be out here doing whatever it is you're doing. No, no one should be out here. But there is this guy. There's this guy. I'll drive you home, May. No! May, now. Come on, May. Or at least, you know, she should listen to you. Wait, so we, we still came out to the woods? Well, everything is red in the background, friends, and that cannot be good. Also, there's some weird shadow that just went by my window. That's not making me feel too at ease. Ooh. Love this red. What is that noise? Is this a well? can't move I can't do anything I don't know if this is a nightmare sequence or if this is actually happening whoa why did it get all David Lynchy all of it or it feels like Donnie Darko or something oh so wait that was a dream because that's a sound that happens whenever you wake up right whoa achievement unlocked what part three the long fall is this chapter three? We're already in chapter three, friends. Ooh, spoopy. Well, that was certainly a spoopy episode in honor of it being Halloween, friends. Thanks for making it an incredible horror fest. I've enjoyed myself way more than if I had to wear a freaking costume and go out somewhere and freaking, ugh. I think I might have to end up doing that tomorrow anyway, and I don't want to. Uh, anyway, <laughs> hopefully my friend who wanted to make that plan with me is not watching this episode, but who knows. Uh, sorry, Ryan. All right, uh, thanks a lot for watching. I have been, and I'll continue to be Kip Icon as long as you guys continue to follow your drams. Bye!